Nordica Enforcer 104. Free. So we're here late November at Louise. There's, check this out. There's quite a bit of snow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I just fell into that hole a couple of seconds ago. Um, so conditions are, coverage is fantastic. Um, we're, we're here on a Monday, you know, after a busy weekend here at the lake. And boy, conditions are fantastic to test skis. It's a little harder, it's a little bit more difficult. So good skis shine in shitty conditions. Bad skis, everything skis well when there's nice, soft, fluffy stuff. But when you get into this variable conditions that we're on today, this is what really, those conditions really, um, well, they'll, they'll show weaknesses. I mean, if a ski chatters, it'll chatter extra. If a ski doesn't hold on groom, it, if a ski doesn't like variable conditions, all those things. Well, the 104 ain't one of those skis. The 104 thrives in crappy conditions. See this, my vest? Nice vest. Thank you. Yep. Uh, is that Bogner? Uh, this is Bogner. It's so warm and it's so Euro for me. Not something I would normally buy, but I actually love it. I was really impressed and surprised when I push it in the carving, in the groomer, because I test the 100 size before that, that, that the handling was beautiful. This guy rocked as the same. So I, I, I feel comfortable, I feel confident. The torsion of the ski is quite good too, so you get a good rebound, good response on the next turn. This That's is one of my favorite skis that I've ever skied in my life. I'm skiing it in a 179. So this is a ski that, you know, I don't know that you, you gotta be careful not to ski it too long because it is a ski that you, if you ski too long, it can be a little ponderous. In this case here, I'm skiing at 179, maybe a little short for me, but boy, am I having a great time. I'm ripping up groomers like I was on my old slalom skis of yore. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm able to duck into trees, go into to, to bumps. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't get as much flotation as I'd like um, if I was in really deep snow, but boy, is this ski fun. This was a pretty big ski for me, but Wow, does it ever go? It is so stable on groomed runs. Incredibly stable. Surprisingly stable. So Did you say fun. stable? It's so stable! <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it really, really rips. Uh, and it was super playful in bumps, over jumps. In all Song Fold told me that they find this key for the swing weight a bit heavy. Personally, with my, with my weight, I didn't find any issue at all, so I... For me, it was kind of easy. I didn't feel that way. That may disturb some skier. Foot, really, really nice and wide, so it'll give you that float and powder. And uh, the construction of this ski is just fabulous. It's so, so stable. I mean, it's. I love it. I, I, I think it's. I, my technique is good on it. <laughs> Makes me look good. Um, I, I can, I can rip it. I can turn it. Um, in bumps, in trees. Does it make you look good? It makes me look really good. Like, I mean, because I don't naturally look good. I mean, look at these <laughs> short, look at these stupid short legs. And, and, and yeah, the Euro trash look that I'm going for here. Um, but this, but I mean, this ski, uh, it's a game changer. I mean, it's, the only the only people that I know that have struggled with this ski is because they've gone too long and they're not physically fit. Uh, if you're fit, go nuts. If you're strong, go nuts. But um, I love, love, love this ski. I've This is my second year testing it. Um, I've skied it. Norway. I've skied it here at Louise. Uh, front side, back side here. I mean, it's a ski that doesn't make, like, I hear a lot of people bitch about the front side of Louise, and that's because they don't have the right ski. If you have the right ski, the whole mountain's yours. And this ski is that ski. You have so much power, so much flexibility, so, 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 so much surfy, carvy, and everybody, everything that you'll read about the 104, people have a tendency to say, Man, these carve nice. And they do. At 179, I'm looking at a 17 meter radius. That's a sweet, sweet, sweet radius. Check that puppy out. Oh, it's caught in my mitt. Okay, so we talk a lot about swing weight with this ski, and that was so fun to ski on. So it really makes it like you can just give it all your power. I weigh 165 pounds, probably a little bit more with all my gear on. This ski was 179 in the length, and I was a little intimidated. This is just a hair longer than I would normally ski, but wowzers, it, this was perfect in this ski for me. Um, JF talks about the ski having metal in it, which really allows you to drive into it really hard. So that's not necessarily, it doesn't work for every type of skier. Um, so if you're a little bit lighter than I am, or if you are maybe a little less aggressive, and I'm really, really trying to dig this ski into, into the hard pack. 
it absolutely transferred all of the power right into the ski. I wasn't absorbing it in my legs, it went right into the ski, so super, super powerful. I really enjoyed this ski. Like, this is a free ski and it carves. Like, I've never carved on anything quite so stable and quite so p powerful is the word. And if we talk about the carving side, it's kind of a free ski, so can't ask why do you talk about carving? Because it's quite important when you buy a pair of ski for all, all around day that you don't have the, the choice to pick three ski when you go to the, to the resort. So I find it really surprising for the carving too. It really responds well. The torsion is good, so the swing back is excellent. So to switch one third to the other, that's perfect. The ending is perfect. You can push it, try it, and the rebound is good. <laughs> Look and performance. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> so, nice wide shovel engages the turn. Nice shape. A short little tail. And, and, and yeah, I mean, I am skiing a short ski at 179. All of this is, doesn't, doesn't work on groomed snow. But boy, nice shapey tail and really brings the ski around nicely. I mean, I can't say enough about this ski. This is on my top 10 skis of all times that I've ever skied on. The Nordica 104 Free. You must uh, get a pair. If you don't have one, it is must important to try this ski and uh, enjoy it, love. Love it. Good ski. Okay. Like. Um, so like this ski is really good and like I really enjoyed it and you should totally buy it because it was really fun.